Hi everybody, this is Kathy with Kathy's WW Journey. Welcome, welcome. First of all, happy Mother's Day to all your moms out there. And if you're a fur baby mommy, happy Mother's Day. Yes, yay. Oh my goodness, what a day. Well, I got a few things to share first before we get into the review and the menu and all that good stuff. So, I made, I told you guys the other day to check out um, um, Planning Us Healthy with Christy. And she made a cheesecake. Well, I made a cheesecake for Mother's Day. And look at it. Look how beautiful that is. And I just made it in the um, six inch spring form pan. It comes out beautiful, guys. And I like the thick. I don't like the little pie dish ones. I like the thick. Hey, I'm from New York. What do you want? <laughs> I'm a transplant to Florida, but I originally come from New York. All right. And then I got to share this. My kids had this delivered yesterday. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my. And I love the little note because it says, Love, Japer, Amanda, and John, your crazy up north children. <laughs> They're crazy like me. <laughs> and that's sweet. That, that's so sweet. Thank you, you guys. I love you all. I love you all to death, and you all know that. Um, Robin Ashley will be over later. And I also have a daughter in Tennessee. And um, I love you too, Victoria. Um, hopefully, I'll talk to her today. Okay. Well, and then <laughs> my husband and I went together on a gift uh, for Mother's Day and Father's Day combined. We got a ping pong table. <laughs> I will video shot us playing ping pong. And it's funny because my little Daisy, my little dog, <laughs> If the ball goes on the ground or on the floor, she goes and grabs it and she gnaws on it in a few minutes. So I got little ping pong balls with little teeth marks on it. But she was getting them all and giving them back to us after she got done chonking on it for a few minutes. <laughs> She's not a retriever, okay? But she did a good job. <laughs> and her other Cocoa Bell just laid out. She said, I ain't playing that game. <laughs> All right, give me just a second. I want to put this cake back in the fridge. I'm back. Okay. Um, also, we're having today, I got a beef round, like a tenderloin kind of thing. And I seasoned it yesterday, and it's been seasoning all night. I'm going to air fry it today. I will have to let you guys know how that comes out. I've never air fried. I've done the pork loin, <clears throat> which comes out fantastic. So I'm thinking the beef should too, you know. So, all right, so I already told you this was this week's, this past week's review. Um, the Brunswick stew was spot on. We did a cook with me with Lentil Joe's. Guys, that recipe is awesome. Um, the only thing on it is to cook, I would give it instead of 15 minutes, I would do 20 minutes. So your lentils are a little bit more softer. But other than that, it was fantastic. And then I also made, uh, yesterday I had chicken. And um, I wanted some, I wanted something, I don't know, fruity. So I did a pineapple salsa, a fresh one. And I should have cut my pineapple a little bit smaller, but it turned out really good. That was good. Okay. So, the new week that we're going into, um, Monday night, we're having breakfast night. Um, I think I'm going to make some pancakes from my discarded dough from um, my uh, sourdough. And I did name her. Um, her name is Miss Minnie, of course. <laughs> Got to be a Disney, right? But yeah, I went, I took some of the discarded uh, dough, like when you have to feed it and that, and I took some out and I put it in a jar and it's in the fridge, and I'm going to make some pancakes out of it. So we'll see how that turns out. 
All right, Tuesday, I do have a uh, cook with me coming up, and it's for cowboy beans. Um, yes. And then Wednesday, of course, is fish day. The grain of the week, my husband picked up kamut. He likes a kamut. So we're going to have kamut for the grain for this week and a vegetable for Wednesday. Thursday, um, we're having BLT pasta. And I am going to do a cook with me on that as well. Friday's lunchy day, hot dogs, macaroni and cheese. Um, and the hot dogs we use are the one pointers, the National Hebrews, all beef. Yeah, those are good. We'll put them, Steve will put them out on the grill and we'll have those. Saturday's chicken breast and of course the kamut and a vegetable. Then Sunday, I am doing Barrett Pastor's recipe for meatball stew. We really like that. We've had that before, and it is excellent, guys. You know, and if you guys haven't tried that, go to her channel and uh, look at her videos and meatball stew. It's delicious. Delicious. Okay. What else is happening this week? I'm trying to finish up. I'm still mulching, putting rubber mulch down. I'm trying to finish that up this week. I've got some mass to get done. And uh, Cheryl, it's coming. <laughs> I'm hoping to get it done and ship it Tuesday. We'll see. Um, let me see what else is going on. Really, just about the same stuff, you know. I'm trying to stay on track. Um, you know, doing the best I can do at this point. Alrighty. Well, and all right, on the business end, I will say. The dog treat, my website is updated uh, for the store, so definitely check that out. I'll put a link or a thing down below so you know where to find that. It's real easy. It's just www.markwortpawsllc.com. Um, all of my treats, um, you can get samples for those now, and I think they were $1.99 I have them for. So that way you can just buy a little bit and see if your, your fur baby likes likes that you know but seriously if you don't feed your dog fruit don't buy the fruit kind <laughs> um, if they don't like the veggies so much don't buy the full veggie they should like it but I know some dogs just don't like veggies but I do have like a beef vegetable which the vegetables are hidden like we have to hide them on our kids when they were little <laughs> I do the same thing to dogs. <laughs> so if I have a dog that does not like vegetables, I hide them in there. <laughs> Beef or chicken. There you go. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It's true though. Okay. So definitely give that a check out um, because I did, I thought that made sense to me. So definitely check that out. Now we're going to go to soaps. And I do have some new ones today. The first one I will show you is my lemon, lemongrass. It smells so good. <laughs> it's nice and relaxing. That was lemongrass. Okay, now this one is amazing. Calendula. Let's <laughs> say it right. Calendula oatmeal. It is, it, oh, it's just, it's got the real flowers in it. And it's just so amazing. And this is so good for us, good for our skin. So definitely. Okay. And this one is a kid's one, but believe me, my husband loves this and so do I. It is my Fruity Loopy. And it tastes, or it taste, I'm sorry. <laughs> it smells just like a bowl of Fruit Loops. I'm not kidding. But didn't it turn out pretty? So there you have it. You get samples on that too. Okay. And my last one is Saltwater Beach is what I'm calling it. And that turned out lovely. And this was made from 
um, the dead sea salt water. Um, yeah, I mean, and this is supposed to be so good for healing our skin and everything. It's just, it's amazing. And it smells like the beach. It's yay. <laughs> so I hope you give those a, a try. Uh, they will be up on my website and probably by this afternoon because I have to add those. And um, Cindy Pope, your um, samples will be out. We had a little problem. <laughs> I shipped her a bunch of samples and um, <laughs> the labels fell off so she didn't know what was what. <laughs> so, yeah, and I, and I know better than put a label on top of nylon because I put them in these cute little bags should have never done that because they came off during the shipping process and I'm supposed to put it on the inside. Lesson learned. <laughs> so these next ones should be very safe. And to my daughter Amanda, your samples will be out um, Tuesday. I'm shipping that out. And um, yeah. So guys, that's it on my, my, um, my job. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, I have a few, um, a couple quotes here. One is, challenges are what makes life interesting, and our overcoming them is what makes it meaningful. And how true that is. I mean, even like in our journeys, you know, if we're losing weight or we just want to get healthy or whatever our, our goals are, you know, um, they're challenging and I mean right now especially at this time they are very challenging um, so yeah and overcoming them all is very meaningful sorry I'm gonna get a drink of my cup look at this cup be blessed isn't that cute little bumblebee I got a whole set <laughs> they say one is busy busy bee which is me and I think be happy and I forget what the other one says. I have to turn around and look. That was good. I had made myself some fresh pressed coffee. I make my husband fresh pressed coffee to take to work in the afternoon. And I says, you know what? I think I want some fresh press. <laughs> it's pretty good. Let me see the other name of that coffee. Oh, okay. And that one's Be Happy. Let it be. I need a Beatles song. Let it be. <laughs> I'm not going to sing as I'll scare you all to death. <laughs> you will all leave me. <laughs> okay. And I have another quote. If the plan doesn't work, change the plan. But you never change the goal. That is true. That's what I'm, uh, you know, I. you guys know that my husband is struggling. And I'm almost thinking about Maybe he should change his plan instead of blue. He should go to green, where he is counting uh, everything. And maybe that'll make a little difference. We're going to see what this week does, but um, I'm going to talk to him and we'll see, you know. And I've always said that if, if the plan doesn't work, change the plan. It's like me, I did. You know, I went along with Barrett Pastor, and I'm also doing Carb Manager. And... Um, yeah, I'm not eating the bread in that. I'm doing good. When I'm staying in my carb range, I'm doing fine. <laughs> but that's not always the case, guys. So I got to get serious on that. Okay, um, what else? I think, I think that's about all that I have for this week. Yeah, we're over the reviews. So we got some really nice little um, cook with me's coming up. Um, Yes, I'm going to have a crumpet one up uh, probably by tomorrow, I'm thinking, because um, I would like to make those, and we'll have those with our breakfast dinner tomorrow night. I don't know what else we're having with it. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe not crumpets tomorrow, because I'm doing those pancakes. Uh, and I've also got the sourdough bread, um, sandwich bread that I'm going to bring to you, and that's a good recipe. We like that. So... Alrighty, I guess that's it. I hope you all have a good Mother's Day. I know it's a little different today. Um, 
where we're not having all the big family get togethers. Um, I know Rob and Ashley are coming over later and I think they're going to come inside the gate, but you know, we're going to stay six feet apart. Um, I'm thinking we're going to do that. I don't know. I'm a little nervous about it, but, um, I think it'll be okay. So my only problem is, it's like when I'm that close to my children, I want to hug them up, you know? <laughs> And we just can't do that right now. So, anyway, guys, have a great, great day. To all your moms out there, definitely have a good day. And those of us that don't have our moms anymore, say a little prayer in remembrance. And, and that's that. Okay, I'm going to leave you with one little closing. We are all capable of amazing things. And this is true. If you think you're not, you are. Because all of us are amazing human beings. Every, every one of us. And we are so worth everything that we try to accomplish. Um, everything. I mean, we are just amazing, amazing creatures in this world. So... Take time for yourself today a little bit. Um, I might jump in the jacuzzi. I don't know yet. I think it's supposed to rain, so I don't know. I'm just going to take it a little easier. I still have tons of things to do, but I'm going to try to take it a little bit easier. So, guys, with all that being said, thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. Thank you, all my new subscribers. Um, and I hope that you guys will enjoy my channel. Um, and just everybody, have a great day. Thanks again. See you next time in my kitchen. Bye, guys.